Hey everyone, Eugene here, hope you're all well. Today we've got for you from the house of Guerlain. This is Jiki, and I never really know how to classify a lot of the older Guerlains. Are they niche? Are they designer? Uh, I don't really think they're either, you know, they're well above uh, designer range. They're not as pricey as a lot of the niche, so they just kind of do their own thing. And uh, Jiki's part of a, a, a collection that um, Guerlain has created known as the Heritage Collection uh, along with Eau de Cologne, um, Shalimar, Lure Blue, and Mitsuko. They, they kind of house these, these older traditional Guerlains. So um, a wonderful collection, you know, something that every fragrance enthusiast should check out at some point. But what's so special about Jiki is um, it's the world's oldest perfume still in production came out in 1889 so about 129 years old and um you know it's the same age as the eiffel tower came out the same year the eiffel tower was built the same year um Jiki came out the moulin rouge was just released the the play the show moulin rouge and um just kind of a different time a different era two lifetimes ago you know the light bulb just um, was invented cars cars were just invented weren't really in production at the time but you know um, just everything kind of black and white uh, so Jiki the name the name Jiki kind of comes from uh, a couple of places there's a couple of fables or stories uh, Aim Guerlain the perfumer for for Jiki uh, is said to have named it after his his nephew Jacques, who is was the second or the third perfumer for Guerlain, and um, so Jiki was Jacques' nickname. And another story happens to be Jiki was the name of Am Guerlain's lover um, while he was studying in school, whom he apparently lost, um, and she was just you know. Jiki was the inspiration for this. Anyway, so we've got, this is a 500 ml B bottle in Eau de Parfum. They do, I, I did get this for free. The Guerlain Boutique in Toronto has this. I, I'm not sure if it's all boutiques, standalone boutiques, but they have a rewards program. And when you get enough points, you can kind of trade them in. And, and, I, and I got the 500 ml B bottle. I do have the... Um, this is the Pure Parfum, the X-Trade of Jiki. We've got here, there's the flacon. And if you look at the flacon, it's, it's inspired by 1800s, uh, 19th century pharmaceutical bottles. Um, the stopper, the, the top, the cap is inspired by uh, champagne corks. So a lot of thought goes into these Guerlain flacons. And they are some of the most beautiful um, bottles ever. This one's not so beautiful, but I do like it a lot. It's just a plastic refillable canister that, um, you know, does fall apart quite easily. I think that's kind of why they're discontinuing these. This is a 50 mil Eau de Parfum. So you can see I've used up quite a bit of some perfume there. Um, and we've also got the newest uh, bottle design for Jiki Eau de Parfum. I kind of asked in yesterday's Coco video if anyone wanted to guess. Only one person guessed and they did guess correctly. Jiki, um, they, they guessed Jiki. So anyway, Jiki was released uh, initially for women. Um, not really sure why they thought this was appropriate for women because you know it's completely um, outrageous. Not not that a woman cannot wear it, but when I when I think of Jiki, it's got a lot of masculine traits. It's uh, a fougere, a barber shop fougere. It's uh, very aromatic. It's got a lot of citruses, spices, uh, lavender. You know, lavender is one of the main notes, along with civet, which is a dirty, pissy, um, animalic. Um, a chord or note, um, you know, you've got the vanillin and the coumarin, which is Jiki is also known for um, being one of the very first synthetic perfumes. Before Jiki, they kind of 
just douse themselves in eau de colognes, very weak eau de colognes, or um, just basically rose water or, or um, solifloors. So Jiki was the very first abstract perfume with you know that used synthetics and um, provided a lot of stability and, and and life to perfume and even performance. It allowed um, people to enjoy their perfumes for a lot longer. Um, let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm really curious. I've, I haven't smelt this new version yet, and I'm kind of curious to see how it differs from the old Eau de Parfum. So, and they, I love, love the sound of that cello. And they did change a lot of the packaging recently um, into these new bee bottle style bottles. Okay, there is the new bottle. And this is the bee bottle, just a different take on the bee bottle, you know. Here's the 500 mil, and this is 100 mil Jiki Eau de Parfum. Let's put a little bit of this on. Spray some in the air. Oh, so a lot of citruses, you know, right off the bat, I pick up lemon, you know, lemon, there's probably some bergamot. So Jiki to me is, since it's one of the very first perfumes, it's, it's an eau de cologne meets um, these base notes of balsamic resins, leather, civet, tonka bean, um, orris root, sandalwood, just a whole slew of notes. It seems quite simple while you're wearing it, but when you, you, know, you actually study it and break it down, you can tell there's a lot going on in Jiki and um, you know, the first time I wore it, I thought it was completely outrageous and I can't believe like this is one of the very first perfumes and they can't even, or they don't even make stuff like this today. Like the stuff they're making today cannot even compare. So it makes you kind of think what's going on, but you know, I've heard people say it, it, it smells like Coca-Cola and I never really thought of Coca-Cola, but now that, you know, that I hear it, I can, I can see where it's coming from. To me, I got a lot of halitosis. It's just the way, you know, the contrasting warm notes and the cold notes would, would they don't really clash, but they, they had a nice contrast to them. So it was the citrus and the coumarin and, and, and the lavender, and it really had this fuzzy, buzzy feel to it. Um, I'm sure Jiki's changed a, a whole lot since it's been released, you know, they, they probably took out that animalic aspect of um, civet, so it's probably, you know, a lot more toned down now, but um, as far as the Eau de Parfum, which is right here, and the Eau de, um, the extrait. The biggest difference I can really tell is the extrait is richer, but it is closer to the skin. Um, it is more dry, it is more creamy, and I get, you know, in the base, it dries down to more of an orris, uh, creamy orris and sandalwood, along with um, a very nice vanillic ice cream accord, which the Eau de Parfum to me is more leathery, it's more, it's, and it's also more resinous. It's not as smooth as, um, as the, 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 um, the extrait. So the thing with Jiki, um, Jiki is kind of, I don't want to say the inspiration for, so Shalimar could have been actually, actually called an accident because, uh, you know, it was Jacques Guerlain that was, kind of fiddling, it's getting really windy out there, I think a storm's coming, Jacques Erlon was kind of fiddling with um, with Jiki and he, he dumped in a whole, I don't know how much, but he, he dropped a, a good dose of vanilla in it and that's kind of how Shelly Mar came about, you know, Shelly Mar is this big grand vanilla perfume. Uh, it's probably got some more incense and bergamot and, you know, some leather, but, you know, that's how Shalimar came about. Jacques Erlon was messing around. So anyway, um, yeah, that's Jiki Parfum. You know, that's what I get from Jiki. Uh, very fresh, 
I would say a daytime fragrance, not really um, something I'd wear in the evening. But again, you know, I can wear this to work. I can wear this to bed for comfort. Uh, a lot of lavender, so I do find it kind of therapeutic. I do enjoy it in that way. Um, I don't really see it as this dirty, outrageous perfume anymore. I kind of got over that after, you know, the first half dozen to dozen wearings, and now it's just something I simply adore, you know, one of the old classic old school fougeres. Anyway, if you've smelled Jiki, I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to know what you think. Um, is Jiki outrageous? Is Jiki for a man or a woman? Or does it even matter? You know, to me it doesn't. Jiki, I think on the, on the Guerlain website is marketed towards women. Um, I think it's just as unisex as any other perfume, especially considered what it is, a a, a barbershop fougere is what, what it is now, but um, yeah. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments below. Let us know, let me know also if there's something else you'd like to see reviewed from the Heritage Collection. If I get enough uh, people asking, I'll be sure to um, to put up a review. So of either Shelly Mar, Allure Blue, Matsuko, or um, the Eau de Cologne. Anyway, I wanna thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.